I mean, it's not the same thing, but you could say we all, you know, we all sit here with a knowledge or an apprehension that there is no time. You know, when I say there's only this, again, it's not a philosophical statement, it's a, just it's a description. There is only this. How long does this last? A second? No. Nothing like a second. You know, continuity, you know, the reality of continuity, which we appear to live in, is only it's just constructed in consciousness. It's, you know, it's just this. This doesn't have any duration, does it? If it does have duration, someone invites you to tell me how long it is. Actually, this is only a metaphor, but I find this interesting. I mean, like many people, I mean, what, what's happening in science at the moment? It's kind of fascinating. You know, there's all sorts of things in neuroscience that are saying there is no person, there is no choice, there is no possibility of free will. You know, all the stuff about how you know the body is already moving to pick up the object before the mind consciously decides to pick up the object, all of that sort of stuff. And then we have quantum physics telling us there is exactly, you know, exactly what the ancient mystics said. You know, there's no, nothing, that's not real, that's empty space, that's vibration, all that's there is vibration. And um, in, on the same track, and pure just Kind of on the level of analogy, and it's kind of interesting that these things are said. Particle physics has came up, come up with the same thing about time. Physicists, particle physicists, quantum physicists now tell us that time is granular. It's not continuous. There is no continuity. So it's like, again saying the same thing the ancient mystics said. You know, everything is there and then it's not there, and there and then it's not there. Constantly created and destroyed. Constantly. A little bit too fast for the eye to see. <laughs> a little bit too fast. Particle physics says the same thing now. They've even measured it. They've measured, you know, I'm saying what's the duration of time? A second? A lot less than that. What, how long is that granule? Of, so time is like a string of grains of sand. How, how big is um, each one of those grains of sand? Well, particle physicists have measured it. And they call it Planck time in honor of whoever well, discovered this. And I can't remember how long a Planck time is, but it's very, very, very short indeed. There's a decimal point and a lot of noughts are. That's just an analogy. It's just a kind of metaphor. But it's kind of interesting, isn't it? You know, that we're coming to the same place through science as we come to through mysticism. So maybe at CERN, with the giant Hadron Collider, maybe they will find out that the basic constituent of everything is unconditional love after all. Who knows? I claim that they won't, but who knows? Perhaps they will. Perhaps instead of announcing the Higgs boson, they'll announce unconditional love. <laughs> no, you don't think so? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Not really. Grasp it. Thing. The point the thing is unconditional love can only be apprehended or seen directly by nobody. 